There are many fresh faces at PHS this year, and Sailor J. McKenzie highlights one later in the show. It's so close, you can almost taste the Thanksgiving food, and pies are a fan favorite every year. Madeline Wunsch shares how one bakery is preparing for the holidays. Our varsity football team has received an incredible gift that they are ever so thankful for. Caden De La Garza shares the moment with us. Live from Studio 301 at Prosper High School, this is Eagle Nation News. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. Today is Thursday, November 19th. I'm Mithra Kama. And from six feet away, I'm Kate Richardson. Monday, Pfizer BioNTech's mRNA vaccine proved to be 95% effective in preventing symptomatic COVID disease through passing its first human trial. While the evidence is still in question, the biopharmaceutical company has already suggested that the vaccine could prove to be highly protective. Texas surpassed 20,000 confirmed coronavirus deaths this week, becoming the second highest state death count in the United States, behind only New York. So far, Texas officials have given no indication of making any restrictions to keep people from gathering. Tuesday night near Kroger on Preston Road, at about 10.30 p.m., the driver of a dark-colored sedan fired shots at a white pickup truck. This individual is suspected to be the same person who fired at a Frisco intersection earlier that evening. Police are still on the lookout at this time, and any information would be helpful in the search. Thanksgiving is a holiday filled with turkey, stuffing, and pumpkin pie. Many people look forward to this day each year. But what about those who are less fortunate? Emily Baldwin sheds light on how one can give back this holiday season. Operation Turkey is a 100% volunteer-based organization focused on making sure that everyone is able to enjoy a warm meal on Thanksgiving Day. Each Thanksgiving, volunteers help to distribute meals consisting of turkey, stuffing, gravy, vegetables, and slices of pumpkin pie. This year, Operation Turkey is hoping to provide more than 75,000 meals to those in need. On Thanksgiving Day, those who contribute are able to choose how they'd like to help, whether it be by cleaning, cooking, delivering, packaging, or plating. Anything is appreciated. Operation Turkey has locations all over the U.S., so even if you're traveling to another state, you may still be able to help. However, if you are unable to make it on Thanksgiving Day but would still like to help support the cause, you can donate to Operation Turkey through PayPal. You can also donate through Venmo by sending the donation to at Operation-Turkey. A little goes a long way. Just $2.50 can provide a warm Thanksgiving meal to someone who otherwise wouldn't be able to enjoy some turkey and pumpkin pie. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Emily Baldwin. Prosper. Well, I know that on Thanksgiving, I'm definitely going to be carb loading, which is a tactic used by many athletes. Here's Zach Manning with your Game Time Sports Update. Thanks, Mithra. In PGA News, Dustin Johnson had much to celebrate after his Masters win Sunday, which not only gave him the coveted green jacket, but also made him $2.8 million richer. Moving on to last night's NBA draft, the Timberwolves selected Georgia shooting guard Anthony Edwards with their top pick. Little Elm graduate New Zealand Breakers point guard RJ Hampton was the 24th pick going to the Denver Nuggets. With the 18th pick, the Dallas Mavericks selected Australian shooting guard Josh Green. Moving on to Prosper Sports News, and the varsity volleyball team fell to Saxe Monday night in five sets. The Lady Eagles take on Capel tomorrow night at Frisco Heritage in their first pl uh, playoff matchup. From the court to the course, after placing second at their regional cross-country meet, Jubri junior Aubrey O'Connell will complete in the, against the runners of the stop Top runners of the state in the 6A UIL State Cross Country Meet next Tuesday in Round Rock. You can watch the race live online at 2.30 p.m. at nfhsnetwork.com slash association slash UIL. Prosper football has always been sure to have the best uniforms year in and year out, but this year the new black threads were more than just uniforms to the players and had more thought and preparation from the coaches. Caden De La Garza unveils how the recent jersey reveal gave the players a moment they will never forget. While the Prosper football team debuts new uniforms every season, the latest ones were the most awaited for by the players. However, the Eagles were doubtful they will be able to run through the tunnel in these eye-catching blackout jerseys, until being surprised just a few hours before kickoff. Myself and Coach Schmidt probably started planning to get black jerseys in January, placed the order in March after we got approval, took from March until early October for us to actually get the black jerseys in. Um, and then it set up nicely with the Geyer game was our next home game after we received them. So from there, uh, myself, Coach PB House, Coach Ryan, Coach Ruth, and Coach Leonard uh, spent the morning that Friday basically setting up all the lockers with the pants, the jerseys displayed, the undershirts, 
so that the kids would see it when they walked in, um, so they could, you know, get their reaction, see the surprise um, from the setup. Much time and effort went into unveiling the new threads, putting the Eagles into complete shock. The excitement and energy from the players created a memorable moment for the athletes. I mean, all of us uh, said that we knew that we were getting black jerseys or um, had conspiracies that we were getting black jerseys, but n none of us, like deep down, really thought it was actually going to happen. Uh, so it was a huge shock to get them, and uh, they looked really sweet, and so uh, we can't wait to wear them again. For these players, a memory like this is about more than just jerseys. It's sharing the moments with your teammates. I'm Kane La Garza, reporting with Eagle Nation News. When you think of Thanksgiving desserts, you probably think of pumpkin pie. But when we return, we'll highlight a bakery in Frisco serving up a variety of pie flavors. Thanksgiving is fast approaching, which means pies are in high demand. Madeline Wentz shares how one pie shop handles the holiday rush, even during a pandemic. Pies are a Thanksgiving staple in nearly every household, and with the holiday season right around the corner, those who are not skilled bakers are looking for those who are. You can find these talented bakers at Batch Bakery, located in Frisco. Batch Bakery is a modern bakery that takes traditional pie flavors like your chocolate creams, your coconut creams, and we just add our own special little modern twist to it. Batch Bakery was opened by Leah and Alex Clark in April earlier this year. Coincidentally, the two were married on Pie Day, March 14th. They also have a location in Allen and are facing their first holiday season with the bakery. Since we are primarily a pie business right now, the holidays are crazy for us. We sell thousands and thousands of pies. All Batch Bakery pies are made in-house from scratch daily. The shop offers a variety of pie flavors, such as coconut cream, pecan chocolate, and pumpkin in three different sizes. It also sells thumbprint cookies. So for Thanksgiving, we have chocolate chess, key lime, pecan chocolate chip, plain pecan, apple, and pumpkin. Those are the only flavors we'll be offering next week for Thanksgiving. There is no set deadline to order pies for Thanksgiving, but it is recommended to place yours by Saturday the 21st as the pies sell fast. They are available for pickup online at batchbakery.net slash order. We want to be a part of your everyday celebration, not just Thanksgiving and the holidays. I'm Madeline Wentz reporting for ENN. Creating pies for the holiday season takes time and talent. Speaking of talent, Rich Daniels in studio with update on some today's hit celebrities and musical artists in this week's edition of Talent Talk. Thanks, Cade. Last Friday was the much-anticipated release of the video game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Just like the name says, this edition of Call of Duty takes place in the 20th century during the height of the Cold War under the Reagan administration. Cold War features a multiplayer mode as well as a single-player campaign mode and is now available to play on consoles and PCs. Moving from gaming to celebrities, actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney recently took steps to gain complete ownership of the Welsh soccer team Wrexham AFC. The bid still must be finalized, but Reynolds and McElhaney have already voiced that they have big plans to turn Wrexham into a, quote, global force. Gratitude is an important part of Thanksgiving, but why not be grateful all year round? Allison Wood details why Thanksgiving is not the only time to be thankful. As Thanksgiving comes around the corner, many families will begin the long-held tradition of sitting around the dinner table and paying homage to the things for which they are grateful for during the holiday season. While putting the thanks in Thanksgiving can leave many individuals with a sense of optimism about the months to come, being grateful year-round is a practice that could brighten up the whole year. A focus on positivity really helps the whole state of a person's mental health. It's even just like changing negative thoughts into positive thoughts. So like if you're planning to do something with a friend and instead of going, I'm so sorry that I'm late, say, thank you so much for waiting on me. For many people who face the struggle of daily life, designating a day a week for thankfulness, whether it be around the dinner table or on your own, can aid in an optimistic outlook on life. I'm Allison Wood, reporting for Eagle Nation News.
Carlisle is in studio with senior linebacker and safety Hermine Lee to discuss the game and quest for the crown. I'm Will Carlisle and with me today I have senior football player Herman Lee. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sorry. With the bye week last week, what has Prosper done to prepare for this homecoming game? Uh, to get uh, guys back healthy. Uh, we had a couple of injuries last game, yeah. so we used the time to um, get, get back healthy. What are the coaches expecting from some of the players at this game? Um, as I said before, some guys uh, got hurt, so new players need to step up. Um, new players that haven't played much this year. Yeah. Um, being a senior, how does it feel knowing this is your last homecoming game? Um, it's definitely bittersweet. Uh, playing football is um, one of the better memories I have playing homecoming, so I'm going to miss mm -hmm. it. With COVID, crowds aren't as big. What kind of things do y'all want the audience to do to pump y'all up? Uh, just just be there and uh, get loud. Um, just be hyped for us. With you running for homecoming king this year and finding out the results right before the game, how will that affect your playing, if at all? Um, I don't think it will. Um, I know the game plan. We all do. So um, I, I don't think it will. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and congratulations to making it to the final round of homecoming. Thank you. Good luck at your game tomorrow. Thank you. New faculty and staff are welcome to prosper every school year. Sailor Jane McKenzie highlights Mr. Malaire to see how this assistant principal is making his first year at Prosper one to remember. With the coming of the school year brings new staff and faculty. Mr. Moliere is a new assistant principal at Prosper High School and works to maintain Prosper at a high status. Prior to working at Prosper, Mr. Moliere worked as an assistant principal and teacher. I worked in Dallas for four years and then I went to McKinney and I worked, uh, I was a teacher for three years there and then I was an assistant principal for six years. And uh, since I've been in Prosper, which these last couple of months, I have zero complaints. I, I love working with the kids. I love working with the teachers, uh, all the adults here, the, 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 the administrators. And so I, I can't think of, the only complaint I have is COVID. In addition to sharing his experience of his first year at Prosper High, Mr. Moliere expresses his interest in bettering the education for the students. The most interesting thing to, for PHS students to know is that I am truly at your service. Um, if there is a need that you have, whether it's to talk something over or to figure something out or just to get another point of view at something, um, I will I will share my time. I'll give you my time. With the help from staff and students, Mr. Moliere works to make his first year at Prosper one to remember. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Sailor Jean McKenzie. That's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. I'm Kate Richardson. And I'm Mithra Kama. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.